Our car expert, Mattis Kurat, says this is old-school diesel technology. This engine is 110 years old. It's a bit loud and clunky, and it's a bit smelly here too, at the Diesel House Museum in Copenhagen. Matty says that even though diesel engines were built into cars early on, diesel was still a synonym for slow. But that all changed with this car here, the Audi 100 2.5 TDI, which made its debut in 1989. Now the technology has come so far, you can win Le Mans with a diesel. Mark Mattis says the RS5 TDI concept proves that it's not the end of the road for innovations yet. He's going to take it out for a spin on the racetrack. Audi is using the RS5 TDI concept car to show off its new diesel technology. Under the hood, the 3-litre TDI twin-turbo produces 283 kilowatts of power, rocketing the car from 0 to 100 kilometres an hour in just 4 seconds. And in addition to its conventional exhaust-driven turbocharger, it's also equipped with an electric one. Oh. Audi's Jan Riker says that conventional turbochargers have a compressor on one side and a turbine on the other. Now he says to imagine that the turbine side has been replaced by an electric motor, creating an electric turbocharger. The electric turbocharger increases the engine's power very quickly and smoothly, even at low revs. Matty says anyone looking for a car to do extreme drifting shouldn't pick the RS5 TDI, as the Quattro all-wheel drive ensures great traction at all times. The RS5 is covered in black matte foil with red highlights. Its diesel engine isn't the only first. The combination of a diesel and an RS model is also new. So far, only two RS5 TDIs have been built, with no more coming anytime soon. There are no plans to put them into series production. The new diesel specs fit in perfectly with the RS5's sporty interior. Audi has not yet sounded out the market for the diesel drive for this model. That comes next. Matty says the Audi RS5 TDI concept doesn't sound like a TDI, doesn't sound like a diesel. It sounds like you'd expect an RS5 to, throaty, full and powerful, but funnily enough, he says, if he switches from dynamic to comfort on the Audi drive select menu, then it sounds like an Audi 3-litre diesel engine, quiet, smooth and pleasant. So what's the secret behind the different engine sounds? Jan Riker reveals that at the end of the exhaust system there's an active sound actor which imitates the classical sound of a gas-powered V8 engine. The retractable rear spoiler adds more downforce, reducing lift on the rear axle. Mattis is also impressed by the acceleration. He says he'll just stop here on the racetrack. Now he steps on the gas and says the car really takes off without any turbo lag. He finds it phenomenal. The RS5 TDI is still a concept car. Audi has yet to decide which models will offer the new diesel engine. <laughs>